sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Klee gave a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? Oh, she's such a kind-hearted child. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely written by Alice. Yeah, that's so. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Master Jean? Or Lisa? A mother and daughter, both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. Alice and Klee? Ding, ding, ding! Correct answer! The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. Ah, it's a bomb! Minus the fuse, so don't worry, it's not going to explode. Come on, take it! This way we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. It's called a dodo communication device, and it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. However, you can't just use it any time you want, and there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. She and Klee asked me to tell you. <clears throat> Please take this with you when you depart for the island. No, wait. The promised land with your friends. And have fun! Don't worry about how to get there. The organizers of this vacation have made arrangements. Turn right after you exit the city gates, and you'll see something that will make you very happy. Sounds like the two of you are in cahoots over this. <laughs> of course not. Is that really the sort of person you think I am? Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? Ah, fair enough. The Toad Deaf Guard does like to joke around, but he's still one of our best friends. Besides, a vacation sounds great! <laughs> Actually, Kazuo and Shinyan seemed pretty interested in coming on this trip too! Let's ask them if they want to join us! Oh, you're back. Poor Kaza is still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Xinyan, do you want to come to the islands with us? Adventure. Can't. Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested just a moment ago. Can't miss. The adventure. Ah, oh. <laughs> Kazaha might act mature, but deep down he's just another youngster eager for new experiences. That must be why he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. Well, all the more reason for you to join the island trip. You know, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there, even Bart's. Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Someone's got it covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Traveler? Oh, yeah. They don't know official yet, do they? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land and her retinue, who are also coming on this trip. Huh? Uh, Paimon, don't get me wrong, I'm just asking to make sure, but from the way you're plugging this trip so hard, uh, did the Iridescence Tour folks put you up to this? After all, canceling the Iridescence Tour after people already made the trip, 
That's kind of the same thing as tricking people into going traveling, ain't it? Ugh! Why won't anyone believe Paimon? <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician, you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? <sighs> I'm sure looking forward to it. Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. You serious? The Toad Deaf Bard actually has plans to do some work? I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cat tail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost business and beat the competition. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> the competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Aren't you allergic to cats? Yup, <laughs> I can always sing on their roof. She told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine employment opportunity, virtually tailor-made for me. So have fun, <laughs> and don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. suffered in the past, the shame we have carried all these years, one bids you adieu, for today it is time for retribution. Min Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that final phrase did not sound like one of your own. Of course it wasn't, I just overheard it from someone in the city. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I mean... Thy princessin is merely drawing on the wisest and courageous sayings she has heard in the land to signify the importance of this day. Hmm, let me see. Huh, it really is someone else's catchphrase. of Inazuma, and an enchanting musical talent of Liyue. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. You must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. Uh, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. And this lady over here. My family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guess that applies to you, too? Oh, I like her. She can stay. Shen Yan, your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. I am in need of one such as yourself. Very well. You shall be one's musician laureate. She's trying to say thanks. You say all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me, too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona, an astrologist. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, too. Mona is amazing. She can find out everything about you by divination. A princess? 
an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, my humble self hardly deserves mention. I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. It is an honor to meet you all. What ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets and thy vocation. Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. This guy is an expert in the sword arts. He parries blades that none have ever parried before and strikes like lightning. Mere mortals could not hope to comprehend. What? Is he really that powerful? Let me take a look. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh my. Hi, Kazuha. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great swordmaster like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? One hereby declares you, Captain of the Royal Guard of the Imanakreish. For even Lady Magistus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Okay, Lady M Mag... Lady Magig... What? Oh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. By the way, Lady Magistus, we found out how to get to the Promised Land. A legendary great mage gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone! Follow Paimon! Can't you give me a Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going anymore. What a, uh, unique little thing. Looks kind of like Guoba, doesn't it? Guoba? Is he the magical creature at Wan Min Restaurant? Now that you mention it, it does look quite similar. Uh, to be honest, even Paimon isn't so sure this can take us to the island after all. Hmm... I see, I see! Only by meeting the lowliest of ends can we arrive at the Imanakreish born anew. Ho <laughs> ho! Behold! The doorway cloven by thundering retribution! By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next. Come, Oz! Lead the way. I will enter first. Main Fräulein need not worry. He's in. And now he's gone! Why, this truly is the path of retribution that leads to the Promised Land. Uh, maybe I should just do a quick reading for safety. Lady Magistus, it's fine! This is Alice's creation. It's totally safe. Spare yourself the trouble. Just come with us. All right, I completely forgot. Whew. All right. It's so dark in here. Um, can someone turn on the light? Ugh. Hey, quit pushing! Come on now, let's all try and stay- Ow! Fischl, you're treading on my hair! I thought it was a snake! Ah, we're flying! Everyone, be careful. Oh, 
we finally landed. What was that all about? What a beautiful place. The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. of life, and a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the promised land, whence we shall revive the Imanakreish. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <sighs> your Archmage Magistus thanks you for your kindness, Your Highness. In this moment, I offer my blessings to the Emmanachrish. Mona, what are you? Uh... Oh, don't ask. Just follow my lead. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the Princessin, who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, Your Highness. Your happiness gladdens one's heart. <sighs> How it delights me to bring us all together here at this most monumentally fateful of moments. Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, this is where my soul belongs. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too many impurities in thy soul. Mm-mm-mm. Main Fräulein means Lady Magistus is perhaps not the most talented swimmer. Oh, Fischl, that's enough! I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting without complaining, but how dare you ridicule my genius? Think you can swim better than me? Ha! I'll bring you to your knees, young lady! Oh my, Main Fräulein! Steal yourself, Main Fräulein! Oh yeah! Swimming race, swimming race! Whoever comes at last is the right name! Challenge accepted! Heed my words, lowly Lady Magistus! You shall pay for your foolishness for as long as you live! Ridiculous! I've never lost a single swimming race in my life! Bring it on! First one to run to the beach wins! Are they serious? Running? I thought they were gonna swim! I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying the area first. Want to come along? Xinyan, are you coming? Seems like everyone's got things to do. I'll stay here and hold down the fort for now. Mona and Fischl have gone swimming and someone's got to set up camp. Don't worry, I got this. You're gonna take a look around, right? Well, make sure you let me know if there are any good views. <laughs> 